and we're going to design the cover for the potentiometer it's quite simple uh, just a thin walled can with a cut out in it there so we'll start with the 16.24 diameter circle point two four and we we'll pull that out to a height of six point five five. Six point five five return and we need a radius of one point five one point five and we're going to Shell this with this tool here, shell. Click the face to remove to create a shell and dimension the shell's thickness. Well, okay, we want to click that face and we've got a one millimeter there, but we want the thickness of 0 0.45, 0 0.45 return. That's our cover. Now we want to put a cutout in there. So we're going to select this face. I'll bring that closer. Face and place it vertical. And we're going to sketch some shapes on here so they so that we can pull. <clears throat> this slot in the part so we want no sorry we want to start with a rectangle so if you place on the center and hit the shift key we've got a temporary reference we want to go straight down so we want that at zero tab and that distance should be 5.01 5.01 return click and drag and we can make that anything we like 10 tab and that's 10.02 return Now we want our cut in the this wall thickness to be at right angles to the edge, not not at a, an acute angle like that. So we're going to draw some geometry in here, from there to that intersection, and from there to that intersection. Now, before I show you the correct way of doing this, I'm going to show what happens if you just try and pull something with those lines in. So, whoops, we select this part here and drag it. Now, I'm not dimensioning that correctly because I just want to show something that seems to be not quite right. Now I've got the cutout, a cutout in, and I'm going to delete all the geometry that I've used. Click on the surface over here in the structure tree, 
and delete it with the delete key. Right. Now that surface is all gone, but we're left with a spurious line in here, which we don't need. And I'm not sure why that has happened, whether we've created extra geometry. Maybe we can lose that by selecting it and deleting it. Yes. That seems to have worked. But if we go back before we do the pull and trim away, I'll go uh, <coughs> select that and write in. If we now trim away all the lines we don't need, no, I haven't gone far enough back. To, there, there we are. Oh dear. Select the right tool, James, and trim away that, and that, and down here that one. Now we've trimmed away all the lines we don't need within the part we're going to pull. So now if we pull select the point we want to pull and pull that and we want that to be 2.2 2.2 2 return now if we delete the surface delete key we've got that perfectly formed so now we've got our cover but before we save this we want to give it the right color so of course we go to the display we select the whole thing click on color and we generally use them for plain steels this lightish grey and there we have it, the colour we require and we can of course save that to a file so there we have the second part made stand by for two more